how to get abs. In today's video, I'm taking on a topic that is often misunderstood and misrepresented in social media and everything you read on the internet. I'm gonna quickly go over the anatomy of the abdominal muscles so that you have a better understanding of what muscles make up the six pack. Then I'm gonna give you the top four things that you wanna focus on if your goal is to see visible abs or even a flat stomach. And then last but not least, make sure you watch all the way to the end because I'm going to give you realistic timelines of how long you can expect to see visible abs based on your starting point. Not what you already see on the internet when you do a quick search, how to get abs in a week, in 21 days, in one day, <laughs> or do this magic workout every single day and get a six pack. It's not true, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna break down some realistic expectations that you can set for yourself if your goal is to get abs, or a flat stomach. As usual, I'm gonna dive right in, but of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get a notification when I release a new video, just like this one every single week. My name's Michelle Roots, kinesiologist, personal trainer, and nutrition coach with over 17 years experience in the industry, helping people increase lean muscle, decrease body fat to become the healthiest, strongest, leanest versions of themselves. And I created this channel because I wanna help you as well. Let's start this video with a quick anatomy lesson. So what are the muscles that make up the six pack muscle? The muscles in the front that make up the official six pack when you see people with a line down the middle and lines across where you can actually count the packs is the rectus abdominis muscle. So that is the muscle that runs vertically right down the front of your abdomen. And then you have abdominal muscles on the sides called your oblique muscles. Then you have a muscle called your transverse abdominis which sits underneath your rectus abdominis. And this is the muscle that everybody needs to know how to activate if you want to properly develop a strong core as well as strong abdominal muscles. Ladies, especially if you have had babies, it is very important to re-strengthen that muscle after you've had babies. I have a whole video already on my channel talking about the transverse abdominis right here. I'll link that in the description below if you've never heard of this muscle. Even if you haven't had babies and you don't know how men or women, how to activate your transverse abdominus muscle, go watch that video after watching this one and educate yourself and work on some of the exercises to help activate that muscle. Because strengthening all of these muscles together will not only give you a flatter stomach if you do some of the other things I talk about in the video in a little bit, but it'll also strengthen your entire core, which will help with stability as well as strength, protect your lower back, prevent injury in your strength training sessions when you're walking, carrying your kids, all the things. So there's so many other benefits to having a strong core and strong abdominals versus just getting a six pack. But for today's video, we're talking about it in a context of seeing visible abs. So now that we know what your abdominal muscles are and what's going on underneath here, what are the top four things I recommend you work on if your goal is to see visible abs or achieve a flat stomach? Number one, nutrition. Now, of course, you've probably heard the saying abs are made in the kitchen, and this is 100% true. As much as strength training and a few other things will come into play, which I'll talk about next, nutrition is going to be very important. So as much as you do these six pack workouts that you see on Instagram and do this workout every single day or do a hundred sit ups a day or plank for 10 minutes, no matter how strong your abdominal muscles are, if you don't have your nutrition in check, these muscles will always be hidden under a layer of body fat. How do we reduce overall body fat to ensure that we can start to see our abs? We eat in a calorie deficit. And if you don't know what a calorie deficit is, I have a whole playlist of videos talking all about everything you need to know about a calorie deficit. I'll put a link to that video playlist in the description below, but put pretty simply, it's eating less calories than you burn. So in order to create a deficit, in turn, decrease body fat or lose weight. Now going into a bit more detail, of course, calorie deficit is very important, but quality of calories is also very important. So making sure that you're prioritizing protein, you are eating whole foods, less processed foods, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, lots of fiber, drinking lots of water, all of these things are going to not only make you feel better, but help with your digestion and help on the fat loss process. You can be eating in a calorie deficit, but if all of your foods are coming out of a package or a box, there are chemicals and so many other things that will affect how these foods affect your digestion as well as bloating and a few other things that if your goal is visible abs, 
it's gonna be very difficult to get there. In summary, nutrition is very, very important and that's why I listed it as number one because you can work out as much as you want, you can run, you can do cardio, you can lift weights seven days a week, but if your nutrition is not on point, you are not gonna see the results you want. One example I like to use is look at how bodybuilders live. Bodybuilders do this for a living, having six packs and 10 packs, chiseled abs for a few weeks out of the year for competitions. And they live eating meal prepped foods, very low sodium, very high fiber, in calorie deficits, drinking so much water, making sure they're hitting their protein targets, tracking their calories, tracking their macros and being 100% on point in order to get their body fat low enough that they can see visible abs. So if your goal is to see visible abs, it doesn't mean you have to necessarily eat out of Tupperware and only eat rice and chicken and sweet potatoes and egg whites. You can be a little bit more adventurous, but really when it comes to the concept of how they live, you need to live pretty close to that if your goal is to see visible abs as well as reduce your overall body fat, especially in your midsection. I wanna take a minute to thank today's video sponsor, Element, one of my go-tos for replenishing my electrolytes after sweaty workouts. Electrolytes are so important for so many functions in the body, including hormonal regulation, nutrient absorption, and fluid balance. Sometimes water just isn't enough, and Element has the perfect balance of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. And better yet, zero artificial sweeteners, no sugar, so no junk. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, sleeplessness, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. Get yours at drinkelement.com backslash Michelle. This deal is only available through my link. You must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com backslash Michelle. Tip number two of what you should be focusing on if your goal is to see visible abs is strength training. So not only strength training for your core and abdominal muscles, so you want to be doing some deep core stabilization work as well as some abdominal isolated exercises as well as weighted abdominal exercises. Not only do we want to be doing core work like planks and side planks, but you also want to be doing some weighted sit-ups. Just like lifting heavier weights for your biceps is going to get your bicep muscle bigger, if you want to see visible abs and you really want to see those rectus abdominis muscles, you want to do some weighted abdominal focus exercises as well. But also in your strength training, I'm talking about compound exercises and overall muscle in your whole body. So we're not just doing abdominal work. And just for overall functioning better in life, you wanna make sure you're doing full body strengthening minimum two to three times a week with a huge focus on compound lifts. Because when you're doing compound lifts, and just a quick overview, compound lifts are exercises where you're working more than one muscle group at the same time. For example, barbell back squat or barbell deadlifts where we're working our core muscles, our lower back, our glutes, our hamstrings. So you're working more than one muscle. Not only are they great for burning more calories through the exercise and through your entire workout because your body has to work a little bit harder because all of these muscles are working in unison. You're usually able to lift heavier weights in a compound exercise, which again is going to help with building muscle. If we build more muscle on our frame, we increase our basal metabolic rate, AKA our metabolism, the amount of calories we burn in a day, which will in turn increase your calorie deficit, which will in turn help reduce body fat in order to see visible abs. So it all kind of plays in together with our nutrition, making sure we're prioritizing protein in order to support our muscle building journey, but also in compound lifts, you are often working your abdominals when they're done with good form. So for example, if I am doing a goblet squat or a barbell back squat, I am engaging. So my abdominals are working as I'm coming down and back up, not only to support my spine, but keep my posture or in a deadlift here, I am working my abdominal muscles. Doing these exercises on a regular basis in your strength training workouts are also gonna help you on your journey to visible abs. I do have some really great beginner 
and advanced follow along core and ab workouts already on my channel. I'll link those in the description below. If you want something to do from home, no equipment necessary. If you just want a quick ab burn, again, to support your other strength training exercises, we're not just doing ab workouts. Tip number three of things you wanna focus on if you want to see visible abs is cardiovascular exercise. Why? Because cardiovascular exercises just increases your daily calorie expenditure, AKA increasing your calorie deficit for the day, also very good for heart health and overall health, but this is going to help aid in your fat loss journey. Now this could be looked at in a few different ways. What do you mean by cardiovascular exercise, Michelle? Zone two cardio is great. I have a video talking all about zone two cardio. I'll link that in the description below. High intensity interval training is great. And also don't forget just walking daily step count is very, very important. So if you're someone who sits at a desk all day and maybe your average daily step count is 2,000 to 2,500 steps a day, there's a huge room for improvement there to increase your daily calorie expenditure just by increasing your daily step count. But if you're someone who already hits seven to 10,000 steps a day and you're getting lots of daily movement, you can add in cardiovascular exercise two to three times a week, just 30 minutes to 45 minutes, again, for extra calorie burn to help on your fat loss journey. And tip number four of things you wanna focus on if you wanna see visible abs, sleep and decreasing stress level. If your goal is to decrease body fat, have a flat stomach, or see some visible abs, you really need to make sure you're sleeping seven to nine hours a night and prioritizing your sleep. Now, of course, if you've just had a baby or you work night shifts and you literally aren't able to sleep that long, then that's okay. That's each individual situation. You do the best you can with your scenario. But if you're just not prioritizing your sleep and you'd rather just stay up all night watching Netflix than go to sleep, you're not working your hardest to get you to your goal. Prioritize your sleep, put your phone away, stop scrolling through social media. That is gonna help you with your fat loss. It's going to help with cravings throughout the day. It's gonna help you feel more energized in your workout, decrease sugar cravings. Same goes for stress. Of course, I get stressed too. We all have stress, but finding ways to manage your stress to keep your cortisol levels low. So lacking sleep can boost your cortisol levels, which will cause your body to store more body fat. Being super stressed all the time will keep your cortisol levels high, again, for the same reason. So if your goal is to see visible abs and decrease your body fat, making sure you're taking time out for you to de-stress. So those are my top four tips. If your goal is to see visible abs, all the four things that you should be focusing on, this is not only gonna help you get to that goal, but help you achieve a body recomposition. Increasing lean muscle, decrease body fat to see more definition in your entire body, but especially if you wanna see visible abs. Now, let's talk about time frame. So what is a realistic time frame that you can set yourself up and set a smart goal of how long it's gonna take you to see visible abs? Now really, to be honest, there's no answer for you. There isn't a proper answer to give you because we are all different. Everybody is at a different starting point. When you see all these plans to get abs in seven days and abs in 30 days, it actually drives me crazy because everybody is starting at a different point. There's no way every single human doing these specific ab exercises is gonna get to abs in 30 days. It's not possible. If you're starting at a little bit of a higher body fat percentage, you have a lot more body fat to decrease before you can see visible abs versus someone who's been strength training for a long time and they just wanna dial in the nutrition to kind of decrease a little bit of body fat around here to see their abs. I still think 30 days is not enough time, but they would have a little bit of an easier time than someone say who's just starting out. So what can you do to set realistic timelines for yourself? My best advice is give yourself time, overextend the time, give yourself a year. You know, it's not gonna happen overnight, but all of the little benefits from doing all those four things that I just listed are gonna be so amazing that eventually the abs are gonna come. But if you're focusing every morning in the mirror and flexing and be like, are they here yet? Or pinching things and be like, ah, it's still not working. It's been seven days. Why don't I have abs yet? You're really gonna drive yourself crazy and it's not gonna be very motivating. So my best advice is give yourself a year and set a realistic time frame. So for example, if you really wanna see a six pack, like if you really want lines, this is a speech I give to a lot of the females I train, I'm like, okay, so what's your order? Do you want the lines here and you wanna be able to count your packs? Like you want deep cuts, you want a full on six pack, men or women. Here's the things that you're gonna have to do. We're cutting out alcohol. You're gonna have to do this much cardio every single day. You're gonna have to hit this protein. You're gonna have to do this. Again, live like a bodybuilder. 
Now, for example, myself, that was never a goal for me because I know what you have to do to get there. So I have no desire to see six pack abs on my own body. I like having these two little lines here and these two lines and a little bit of definition. It's hard when I press it, it feels good. I look fine in a bathing suit. I feel confident. I've had two babies and I still feel pretty good. But my goal for myself was never to have a six pack because I know what I need to do to get there and I don't wanna live like that. I don't have a desire to live like a bodybuilder, no offense to anybody who does, but I have two young kids and I wanna go on a Saturday and have a donut with them. I wanna have a glass of wine with my friends once in a while and I wanna have a healthy balanced lifestyle while still being able to maintain this with ease. That's just what I like to say is like, don't write down your goal, I wanna have a six pack. Be more specific for yourself to set yourself up for success. So I would love to see some lines in the side of my abs. These lines are a little bit easier to get than the horizontal ones. So maybe say I would love to see some kind of definition in one year. That gives yourself time and if it happens before that, perfect. But if it doesn't, that's okay. You just keep working on your journey because you know what? Doing all of these things, your health is gonna improve, your energy levels are gonna improve, your body composition is going to improve 100%. You're gonna be stronger, you're gonna do you're gonna feel like a new person in a year, and then you probably just won't even care anymore about how your abs are. It's just gonna start happening. And you're doing things that are sustainable, and once you achieve these abs, you're gonna be able to maintain them. There's so many people who diet and starve and do 100 sit-ups a day and do all this stuff to get their abs, but then they realize, I can't maintain this for a very long time, and their abs disappear because they're not able to maintain that. My best advice is give yourself time, put in the work, do all the little things, build all the healthy habits along the way, and watch the magic happen over time. Don't rush the process. This might be a little bit different than your average get abs, get six pack video, but this is just realistic and this is just coming from my heart and I want everybody to feel good about their journey and feel good about themselves versus being promised something that's actually close to impossible. So I hope this was helpful. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help or even comments about your own journey to achieve a six pack. Let us know how it's going or how it went for you. And if you need help with your strength training, I've got an eight week beginner friendly dumbbell only or gym option, three day or four day split option, strength training program all run through my app. I'll link that in the description below. And if you need more personalized help, you can learn more about my online fitness and nutrition coaching program. I'll also link that in the description below. And as usual, have a great day guys and I'll see you in the next one.